now coming to the next question of the syllogism chapter we have the set of three statements one is negative other is positive then the third one is also positive and we have to check the two conclusions one is negative and one is positive now checking the conclusion one it is negative in nature and it can be derived from all three statements as fight is in statement number three meeting is in statement number one and there is adding word argument in statement number one and two and debate in statement two and three now we know that one two three statements are set of negative and positive which leads to the negative state conclusion so rule one which is of nature is passed here as the nature matches then the rule two is of percentage criteria now checking percentage criteria in conclusion we want the percentage as 100 percent and 100 percent now checking in statement in statement the fight percentage is 50 percent only so we can straight away say that rule two is not passed and we need not check the percentage of meeting as fight percentage is not matched so definitely this conclusion is not followed as rule 2 is not passed here now checking conclusion 2 it is some fights are meetings which again can we conclude from statement 1 and 3 as predicate and state uh, subject are present in 1 and 3 with adding word making connection from 1 to 3 but statements negative positive will conclude negative conclusion and it is positive in nature so rule 1 is not followed here and thus conclusion 2 is not followed so conclusion 1 and 2 both does not follow so students make mistakes here that they will mark the answer as neither 1 neither 2 follows but this is not the answer as it is the case of either or why as either or answer is based on three conditions one conclusion one conclusion two both are wrong or both does not follow then second condition subject and predicate of conclusion one and conclusion two must be same like here fight meeting fight meeting both subject and predicate of conclusion one and two are same then third both conclusion c1 and c2 must be opposite in nature that means if one is positive then other one must be negative and here statement sorry conclusion 2 is positive and conclusion 1 is negative so all the three rules of either or are passed and thus the answer is if either one or either two follows so be careful in the case of either or whenever you see that two conclusion does not follow then please check these three rules and find out that your answer is either or or neither nor okay students thank you